Hey, this is the Devil Dancer, and welcome back to my Mind Fantasy 2 2.8 tutorial Let's Play. In this episode, we will be working on rough leather armor. It is a basis for such leather armor, says your padded. as well as some of the metal armors. Um, as you can see here, just the reinforced leather is required to make the chainmail armor, or even the scale. Uh, I will be making the different ones, the chain, the scale. And I'll definitely be making all of them just to show you through it. I'll be making the rough leather first. I'll make the padded. But I will also make reinforced leather. Well, the studded. There we go. And reinforced was back here. Yes, reinforced. So I'll be making uh, one, two, three, four different armors to show you how they're made. And then we'll move on to the metal armors using the ones I had made. So that will be uh, beneficial and then when we hit Artisanry 10 we'll be able to unlock the heavy armor, iron smithing, and repair kits through the research. Uh, and also the bodkin arrow. So we'll, at that time we will make a bow. That will uh, that'll be fun. Um, once we do hit iron, I will be making the heavy tools as well. They are similar to the uh, Tinker's Construct tools. This would be similar to the excavator, the heavy shovel. And that does allow a 3x3 three three area to be dug. Um, just as the heavy pick allows a 3x3x3 three by three by three block around them. Uh, however, I do know that in order to get the 3x3x3, three by three by three, you have to dig one in and then break, because it breaks a three, uh, that 3x3x3 three by three by three is centered around the pick. So if you just hit a wall, it'll only break two in. But if you use a regular pick and dig one in, you can break three. But we'll demonstrate that when it comes time. For right now, we need wool to make thread. And we are going to need more leather. And we are going to need to sleep. So, last episode we made bronze. So let's go ahead and head out. I have my trusty spear. I do know the sheep are over there. So on our way to get the sheep, let's go ahead and murder some cattle. But before we do, do we have any straw? They do not have any hay. Okay, so let me grab the seeds and the bronze hoe. Oh, and Mr. Creeper. That's why I like my spear. Look at this. He doesn't even get close. Come here, come here. Ah, you're dead. All right. So let's clear this area. We are going to put in a small garden here. Um, why? Because we are going to need some straw, some wheat. 
whatever you want to call it, hay. It's called wheat, but you know, when you put it all together into a big block, it calls it a hay bale. Call that a wheat bale. Makes you wonder. And exactly why I did that, I do not know. But I've learned not to question madness. All right, so let's go ahead and break that out. Let's pull this and get to planting. Those knocked out. Go two back on this one. This way the mobs, when they come down, they don't drop and break her. Our uh, plants, our farm. So that should be good enough. It's just a start. All right. So we'll throw that up there. We'll throw that down and that down. And the cows will survive for this. I do want to breed them before I kill the adults off. That way I don't lose any, you know, I don't, I don't wipe the cows out of my area and then have to travel far. So I'll breed them and kill one off. That way I just, keeping the numbers. I may even build a fence, kind of corral them in, and then kill them off. Here's some sheep. And with these guys, I can just clip them. I don't have to kill them to get their wool. And now if they're good little sheep, they'll eat. Then I can clip them again. There's one over there. Let's go ahead and go get him. Maybe on the way back we'll uh, be able to shear these ones a couple times again before we have to go back. Uh, there's four of them over here. Nice. No, no, where are you going? Come here. I just wanted your wool. Alright, this should give us a little bit of wool for now. They're upset, so they're going to be swimming away. I have no idea what that's about, but hey, whatever makes them happy. All right, so couldn't resist the copper while it was here. I managed to risk that one back there, but this one just couldn't do it. Had to have it. And has anybody eaten? Where did another one go? No figure. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this copper, just because we're here. Hey, okay, let's head back home, which is just right over there. Okay, 
that. Didn't even take any damage. Doing good. All right. Now let's come up here. Buy that place. And back in the home. Well, I don't have this lit up out here. Huh. Here we go. That's where I live. All right. So let's go ahead and grab some sticks. We are going to make thread. Now, to make thread, let's see if it's in this one. And it is not. So let's go back to basics. Let me see. Thread, thread, thread. Thread would be where? Let's go in here. Zap, zaps. Headphones. Hmm. Three and four, so that's not it. Commodities. Could be commodities. There's thread. So you need one wool block, one stick, it gives you four thread. And of course, four thread gives you a string. So, we have, oh, let's go ahead with six, we'll do six, come in here, and these do stack so we don't have to pull them out. Twenty-four. Now we are going to be making armor. Actually, you know, we should probably make a bedroll. That way we don't have to come back home. We can just sleep while we're out. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to take three wool, two thread, and one leather. So let's grab our leather. Um, let's grab our leather strips because I know we're going to need those for the armor. And all the wool I have is on me. Okay. Well, I'm going to need the bone needle because, as you can see, needle. And it's made in the carpenter's bench, of course. So there's the one. There's that. There's those three. And two thread. Now we just need the needle. And it does take a bit to apparently sew this up. So this is going to take a little bit of time. All right, almost done here. Can't go too fast or it doesn't work. All right, there's our bedroll. So let's go ahead and show you what this thing looks like. Just throw it down and that's what it is. And we can use it. And you just hit it and it breaks it, brings it right back to your inventory when you walk over it. Just like the standard uh, sleeping bag. 
Now, unlike the sleeping bag with this mod, the sleeping bag will reset your spawn. The bedroll, since it's from this mod, will not reset your spawn when you sleep. Your spawn will remain on your bed. So, that's actually good. It could be bad, but I have the gravestone uh, mod in, so if I die, I won't lose any of my items. So, it was just the mapping system will put a marker out. There will be in a gravestone. I'll come back here where it's safe. I can make a stone spear and then go back out and get what I need. But let's go ahead and start the armor. Okay, so first thing we're making is a rough leather helmet. Just two thread leather and two leather strips. Let's go ahead in here. That was two thread, one leather, and two leather strips. Rough helmet. And it needs the bone needle. I may be making a bronze needle here soon. That bone needle's going quick. Yes, there's the rough helmet. Now if we hit shift, left click, or left shift, I'm sorry, you can see that it's got a cut armor rating on it, cutting, piercing, and blunt. And the better you craft, the better it goes. So let's go ahead and put it on. Here's our leather helmet. Pretty cool, huh? You can even see the little leather straps coming down on the sides like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So I will need one of those because we do need to make we need to make a uh... bronze needle. And since we have bronze on us, let's go ahead and do that. So we need to move all these out of the way. And bring down the coal, dry rocks, the hammer, and that. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. that my throat's drying out and we're still at high noon now let's go ahead in here we'll put the piece of bronze in the coal wire up come on there we go and as soon as it's hot we'll put it in get our nuggets and make our needle We all know how to make the nuggets. Okay, we're workable. So we put it in. We'll make our bronze hunks. Sorry. Nah, I was calling them nuggets. Okay. Now we have our hunks. To make the needle. Luckily, the bronze, the, nothing cools down on the anvil. That's a good thing. Okay, so... Crafting tools? Let's say things are spread out quite a bit. Here we go. We need a bronze hunks all in a line. And we need four of them. What we get, and that will make us our needle. So, let's come in here. Put them all in a line. 
That's our bronze needle. So we go back to the hammer. Get it too soon. There we go. Ah, and my artisan reason A. That's the best thing. Okay, now we gotta pick it up with the thongs and cool it down. Did it damage it? It is undamaged. Look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and put our tools away. And we will continue making the armor if we are able. Alright, so we need, I, I know right now we're going to need more strips, so we'll put those in and we'll cut strips out. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and make our next piece of armor which would be the rough leather armor. So we're going to need three leather, two straps, and two thread. Three leather, two straps, two thread. I'm sorry, four leather. Uh, all right, so we start sewing. Make sure you give that one second in between to get the maximum uh, usage. Otherwise, it doesn't work quite right. Now we can put our bronze needle in. There it needs to go. And that actually does a lot more. Look at that. So much more efficient. All right, so. We learned from that that the higher level needles on the lower stuff, because this just takes a zero, which is bone. Our bronze is a one. So the higher it is, the more it actually works to get it done. All right, now this one is three leather, two thread, two straps. So get to three leather, the two straps, two thread. All right, so let's make some rough leather leggings. And that went by really quick. Okay, so now we need the boots. Rough leather boots, which is just two straps and two thread. Sounds more like sandals, but if they want to classify them as boots, they classify them as boots. The protection. Okay, so uh, look at this. Look how fast this is going with this needle. All right. So, we've seen the helm, here's the boots, here's the armor rating for the leather breeches, or the leather leggings. The one's 45, that's pretty good. And that is the armor rating for the rough leather armor. Now if you noticed, all these are just regular, you know. If you look there, behind cutting is a plus nine. That means the rough leather armor that I made has been crafted at a higher quality level than just standard. So it has a bonus. Now, I have in one of my other plays, in one of my, uh, ones that I've been playing with other people. I am up to making superior items quite often, and there are some mighty big bonuses that can be had that way. But, there we go. 
Oh, and he's got his needle in his hand. We'll, we'll give him this spear. There you go. Um, let's see, what is that? F5? There you go. Look at that. And you get there, and. Huh. Alright. So that's my character. Let's go ahead and we're going to call this one right here. Um, this in. Next episode, we will continue working on building, but we will build the padded. Oh, I'm sorry. That plus nine, okay. That's the difference than what you're wearing. Because I was wearing the apron, it was recording I had armor on. And it was telling me, just like this padded cap, this is how much better the padded cap is compared to the rough leather cap. Twenty-four, sixteen, four. Well, we'll just look at that. Twenty-four cutting. It says plus three. If we come down here, it's twenty-one cutting. So the green tells you the how much better it is. And that is even by far better. But we'll get there. We'll be making our padded leather. We'll be going out after the sheep again to gather more wool. We'll be making more thread. We'll make thread out of out of the uh, a gray wool this time. Um, getting more wool, of, and by then maybe we'll see if our wheat's done so that we can breed the cattle. And maybe even build the fence. So maybe next episode, it'll just be setting up the cattle pen um, and, and uh, getting wool and breeding the cattle. But, and again, that is next episode. I want to thank you for joining me. I do hope you learned something. And I appreciate everything. Uh, you can see me on Twitch when I stream. Just look at the link below. And you'll find it in the description. I want to say thank you and have a wonderful day.